Now, the tertiary structure is dependent on two main interactions. It is dependent on the interaction between R groups and water, and it is dependent on interactions between R groups and other R groups. Okay? So the first interaction, R groups and water. R groups, they can either be hydrophobic, meaning I don't like water, get me away from water, or hydrophilic, meaning I'm attracted to water, I want to be intimate with it. Okay? Hydrophobic or hydrophilic. Now the second interaction that contributes to a tertiary structure are the interactions between an R group and another R group. An example of this interaction is a disulfide bond. This disulfide bond is dependent on two sulfurs that are present on the R groups of two cysteine amino acids. Those two sulfur atoms come together and form a covalent bond. And that contributes, that bond between those two cysteines contributes to the tertiary structure. 